What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, telling like I can tell you how using me. And I know I've been away for a while, but I'm back here doing it again now. I know everybody heard the story about Eric Garner, Eric Garner, and about what happened to him. To me, I'm thinking like everybody else. I I'm really thinking like everybody else. It's like, because if you heard about the story on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube story that I've heard, heard it from YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, probably in Tumblr, uh, that he broke up a fight, this is up in New York City now, you know, police has a problem up there, anywhere you go in the city, there's going to be police brutality, and I'm going to watch videos on it, YouTube, you can watch it anywhere, Daily Motion, YouTube, and all that shit, and the guy was minding his business, and he told him, he said, y'all always miss on me. He wasn't doing nothing. He wasn't being hostile. And he was doing what the police said. And they attacked this man. And they and one of the police officers did a, a, a illegal move. They quit using a move. Um, there's a move that they put, there's a move called the Choco. Now, it's against the law. No, well, they say it's against the law, but it's against well police officers ain't supposed to use the move anyway because it's against protocol and it's against the law and it kills people quicker because you close off the airways and they choked and he you they used it on this man and and I sat there and I looked at it I sat there and looked at it I said man he ain't have to choke this man out like that and I'm Sorry about that, y'all, but I looked at it, I was mad as hell because this man is a father and a grandfather. The man had asthma and breathing problems. And you using a legal move on this man because of what? Either he, because they, there was two versions now on YouTube, Facebook, and all that, and they were saying he broke up a fight. The news, they say he was selling cigarettes. No matter what he did, if he was selling single cigarettes or if he was breaking up a fight, you 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 choked a man out. You choked a man out. You choked this man to a point where he lost consciousness. And if y'all heard saw the video, I saw the video, and he said, "I can't breathe. I can't breathe." You heard the man said he can't breathe now. I'm glad that somebody recorded it, recorded that what, what happened. He's sitting there telling these people, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. What does that tell you when you have somebody saying, I can't breathe? Either you raise up off, their, off of them and let them breathe so they can have some air. Because you don't know what's wrong with that person. They can have diabetes, they can have cancer, they can have AIDS, they can have asthma, they can have glaucoma, they can have all these health issues, and you laying all these police laying all these moves on them, and they kill them. If I was in, if I was this man's son or nephew or kin to this man, I would have sued the shit out of uh, NYPD. I would have sued the shit out of NYPD because ain't nobody, ain't nobody deserve all that, man. He died for shit. He died for nothing. He got choked out by a police officer in his connotation. He died. Ain't, ain't, ain't that manslaughter in a way? If I go out and choke, them, choke somebody out to a point where they die, wouldn't I be arrested for murdering that person because I choked them out where, it couldn't, where that person couldn't breathe? I'm for real. I wonder what's the... Come on, why, why, why haven't I seen any arrest warrants for that police officer for doing that? I saw one video, a, a police officer arrested for being a pedo, uh, for, for, uh, a pervert. He was a pervert and he was in court and the judge told him, I said, you just a pervert with a badge. Something like that. He said, you just a pervert with a badge. And I look at it like, it's, it's like, these people that wears these badges, where's these damn badges? Let all that power get to their head, and they and they killing killing innocent people. How how many more dead people 
how many more people are gonna have to die before somebody make a law where if a police kills an innocent person, they go to jail too? Oops, there's already a, a law like that. It's called murder. It's called murder. It, it, it's 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 the the damn law has been it's so fucking old, man. Even God said it said it. That's how old the damn law is. The law there's a law that says die, God said thou shall not kill. That was his law. That was God's law. Then man took that law and put, oh, you kill somebody, we either kill you or lock you in prison. See what I'm saying? There's that law. But where in that law does it say, oh, if a police kills somebody, they get off scot-free? This man was killed. This was no accident. This was no boo-boo. It was not. It, if, oh, it was an accident. No, no, an accident if you push somebody down. And they get back, and the person gets back up. That's an accident. Or you accidentally scratch somebody's car with a key or with the door or ding it. That's an accident, yeah. But killing somebody by cutting off their airways and where they can't breathe, that's not an accident. That's murder. To me, that's murder in the first degree. Doesn't matter if he's wearing a badge or not, man. Doesn't matter if he's black or white or Hispanic. Once you kill that person, to me in my eyes, you just killed an innocent person. Doesn't matter who you are. And it's getting to a point where this shit's rubbing off on the kids. And <clears throat> and it's bad. And I just saw, what was it, on HLN, and it was something like MSNBC, some shit like it. A guy was sitting in his chair and the police jumped his ass. Police jumped his head and beat him in the head where he had a bruise on the side of his head. Nobody hear about this shit in the news, but it was the same. It, it wasn't. It was yesterday when I saw it. Not yesterday, day before yesterday. Guy was beat up by the police. Everybody recorded. His sister sat there and watched his, her brother get beat up. Instant man sitting in his chair get beat up by the police. Had a bruise on the side of his head, and the police put a gun out, and the guy wasn't resisting. And the person, the victim's father, was a retired police officer. <clears throat> See all this? I'm seeing constantly, constantly. You constantly hearing these stories. You constantly seeing this shit happen on a daily basis. Police beating or hurting or killing innocent people, and there is no repercussions. There's no punishment. I tell you this. A few years ago, like I said, it doesn't matter what color you are. There was a black cop. A black cop that had a tequila bottle in his cruiser. He had the uniform. He was in his cruiser. Everything. He gets in his car and he hits a tw a twelve-year-old little girl. He hit. Let me let me say it again. Pol a black police officer with a tequila bottle in his cruiser with uniform badge on everything hits a twelve-year-old little girl and she dies. He doesn't get arrested. He gets. He got arrested. My bad. He did get arrested. He never went to prison for it. He didn't go to prison for murder. But the fun, fucked up thing about it was, he resigned. He resigned. He quit being a police officer. But he still gets to walk the street. Why did they get to walk the street after killing somebody? I said, how can anybody walk these streets? or go to school or do anything and feel unsafe around police officers. There's good ones out there. I know that for a fact. I met some good ones. <clears throat> but how can I feel safe or how can you feel safe or how can your kids feel safe or how can anybody feel safe when you see police killing innocent people? How can anybody feel safe when that happens on a daily basis? <clears throat> when it happens every day, and I question that, I'm questioning this shit right here. This man deserved to die. I don't give a fuck if, if he sold cigarettes and well, ashes against the law to sell singles. If you don't know what a single is, a single is is like you have a pack of cigarettes, and you start selling a cigarette a cigarette for a certain amount of money that's what we call singles you're selling a single cigarette to somebody 
that's what that means singles if you don't know what the fuck that means half of them you don't half of them you do but that's how it is they they sit up here and they killed this man either because he was selling single cigarettes or he broke up a fight and I think it doesn't matter if he did either, either one he died for no damn reason he should never got killed because some police officer let that badge go to his head. See what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that, man, where we have to fear the police. It's getting to a point where, to me, it's like it's, it's getting to a point where that they will set a law in place for police officers. If a police officer kills somebody, an innocent person they do they should get life in prison they should get punished just like anybody else it shouldn't be oh they can just walk the streets they're just not a police officer I saw what was it? they had that show called locked up police a, a, a prison guard worked at the prison for some odd years he gets arrested he gets put in prison for child molestation he used to be a he used to be a prison guard. Now he in prison for molesting kids, molesting kids. And it's funny how all, you don't hear shit like that. You don't hear no uh, hear shit like it where they all oh, they they go to prison. Or you hear all oh, they did this the one part like once a year. We hear one story about one police officer fucking up and they going to going to jail for it. But you never hear about every day they getting arrested for some shit like that but to me it was wrong <clears throat> and out the way that this man had to die <clears throat> because police had had let their badge go to their head it shouldn't be like that y'all it shouldn't really be like that and it's stupid that this man had to die like it because they had a they, they wanted to hurt somebody they wanted to kill somebody and they used that illegal move on this man Fuck the damn investigation. If there's fucking cameras around and people record it from the beginning to the end, and there's your evidence right there, there shouldn't be no investigation. If there's 15 fucking cell phones around, and you say, oh, we need to do an investigation, oh, you better watch all 15 of them damn videos and see what the hell happened. Because them damn video, look, now some of these, now I'll tell you, some of these damn police officers, some of these police officers are trying to get get a law passed over where people can't record them fucking up fuck that shit man if we got freedom of speech and have every right to walk down the street with a fucking cell phone with a camera on it we got every right to record your dumb ass fucking up you got cameras on your car we got cameras in our pockets <clears throat> that's how it should be if a police officer can walk can sit there and drive their cruisers with cameras. Some of them even got cameras on their bodies, on their shit or something, because they gotta have that person camera on them, and in they car. Then we can have cameras on us to record when they do wrong. That's what some of them are thinking. Let's pass the law off where they can't keep being made fucking up. That's what some of these cops thinking. But it's like this, though. This man should never die for something stupid. Man ain't never gonna come back. Man ain't never gonna come back. Lost everything. Man, like man, lost his life because the police want to fuck with him and kill him. For what reason? Either selling a single cigarette or yeah, I can understand about the say, arresting a man for selling a single cigarette because you could have sold it to the minor. But if he broke up a fight, man, you don't have to arrest a man for it. I, and to me, <laughs> like I said, man, it. It's just wrong. It's just wrong, man, and I. It's just wrong. That this man, it. I'm for real, y'all, man. What the hell we gonna do, man? What the fuck we gonna do, man? Cause this is ridiculous, man. That police can get away with murder.
But they don't mind locking us up when we kill each other. That's fucked up. The police can kill an innocent person. If, if, uh, it's just, if a person can kill an innocent person, then shit, man, a cop can go to prison too for killing an innocent person. That's all, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. And I don't think that, that neither all them comps you had get off or whatever. They ruling this an accidental death. My ass. A police review panel has charged against three uh, Staten Island cops. Signed to pursue already under fire in the air, air gardeners, uh, uh, they, they are, <coughs> the precinct is under fire in the air gardeners death for using extreme force to, and falling to get failing to get medical treatments for a 52 year old man who died within custody died right there in front of him so the lawsuit filed last week in Brooklyn Federal court says was beaten by. Hold on. I think that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. My bad. But see, that's another story that happened too. I mean, I'm telling you these stories because it's true. It's true. All these damn stories. Because of what? Because they thought they was badass billy guns and they can get away with it? You hear all these stories about people getting killed by pol police. I, it's not gonna get to, it's gonna get to the damn point that the, the governors of these damn states and the damn mayors of these cities are gonna say, "Look, man, we can't take no more fucking lawsuits from these people because of what the fucking police been doing. Either they get locked up for killing an innocent person, or we keep." Or we go broke. That's that's one thing they gotta look at. Either we make a law where if police kills an innocent person and there's video out there, they're going to prison for it. Or evidence evidence, video, whatever about them doing it, they go to prison for murder. Cause we can't keep dishing out all this money paying on them. We try to save it on the pay to do our thing over here. That's one thing these damn cities and states need to start thinking about. Obama was better start thinking about this shit. Obama needs to say, because one thing is, look, you need to get your money, for, you need to get your tax money from these damn states. If these damn states broke, you can't get your tax money. Because you let these damn police officers act the damn fools around these streets killing innocent people. So you got two options, Obama. You set the damn law in place if a cop kills an innocent person and there's evidence or video or whatever caught or collected or whatever and they show us that them police officer killed an innocent person then shit man you go to prison they starting to show uh, that's another video but tell me what y'all think ladies and gentlemen this has been Afro Joe saying like the T.I. is again follow me on Twitter at Afro at Afro Joe the Wookie follow me on Tumblr subscribe to my channels man show your love tell me what you think about this man did you think that this man deserved to die? Or did you think that it was wrong and out the way for them to do this? Just tell me that. Tell me what you think. And I will post a video of, of the incident in the description. Tell me what you think.